Hey guys, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and another kind of haul slash spring styling video. So I've got some pieces from um, H&M that I really want to show you. They're so cute and springy styling vibes um, and I have only got five pieces so I thought it'd be quite fun rather than mixing in the mix. I've got a few other pieces I want to show you. Rather than mixing you in, so I'll keep those for another day, I thought let's create 10 spring outfits with five pieces. So I am going to use my own wardrobe, so it's not just going to be these pieces because some of them I haven't got any trousers, <laughs> so otherwise it would just be very naked. Um, but yeah, so I thought I'd take you through the pieces and then style them up in different ways. So if you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. I do a video every other day or every day depending on how much content I've got at the moment um, while everything's going on to keep myself busy and try and keep you guys entertained. Um, so lots of things coming and also very happy to take any ideas from you guys. If you've got anything that you think that you'd like to see over here, then make sure you let me know because I am filming all the time, guys. Um, so let's get straight into it. Um, and the first piece is actually my favorite piece. I probably should have kept this till last. I've got another favorite piece. I'm gonna keep that till last. Um, and that is this mini dress. Now I have actually got a mini dress from H&M that everyone went wild for, um, that I got, it was the last time I went to their showroom before all of this happened, so maybe like two months ago, um, or maybe even longer, but it's like this, except for it's got long sleeves, um, and this does come in black as well, um, but I thought this was a really nice kind of spring one, because it's got this monochrome, well it's not monochrome because it's cream and black, but it's like floral and then it's tiered and it's just a beautiful dress that is really comfortable for wearing around the house to feel a bit more like dressed up and also long dress is so comfortable to wear but also um you can dress it up to make it so nice for like weddings and things obviously unfortunately a lot of those aren't happening this year but it's a timeless dress so you can wear it again in the future and hopefully all of these pieces are quite timeless most things i pick up are so i know that it, we're in a weird situation at the moment so people are feeling funny about spending money which i completely get but also hopefully these pieces are things that you wear when everything's over they won't be like done and dusted so this is the first piece which i'm now going to put on can i do a fancy so I'm going to try and show you two outfit ideas for each look. So this is definitely my favourite piece. It's so affordable too. Like I haven't got the price. I don't think I've still got the price attached. But I'll put all the prices and sizes and links to everything in the description. Including what I was wearing in the intro and anything that I style with these pieces. Um, but I just love this. It's so nice. It looks great with just some chunky sandals and a little basket bag for a summer look. I would just wear it around the house with barefoot too, but um, I just wanted to show you like this first. So we're going chunky sandals and basket bag for the first look. And hopefully you can see it here, styled beautifully by yours truly. Uh, and this is my first way that I would wear it. Um, and the second way that I would wear it is with a blazer. Now, I always felt a bit funny about putting blazers with long dresses like this um, because of the kind of shape of it. I always felt like it just wouldn't work. Like blazers to me were like trousers or jeans or denim shorts, but not with like a long dress because of the way it cut off. But I've seen them recently on quite a few people and I think it looks so nice. And this one in particular, I feel like the camel color really picks up on the neutral tones. I think a black blazer would look nice with this too, or a lighter shade of like beige. Um, you could wear this again with chunky sandals. I think it would look cool with trainers. Um, so those are my first two ways to wear and it's this gorgeous dress. Then the next one is this cute little top and I feel like this is such a cute little jeans and a nice top vibe. So let's try this one on next. So this is the little top and it's so cute. It's like a little cream. I'd call it like a peasant blouse, I think that's what you call it. Um, and it's so nice um, with like the little pastel florals, it's got the ruche detail, it's got the square neckline which we know is so on trend this season. It's also got a little bit of a puff sleeve but nothing too dramatic and then it's got the ruche detail around the wrist to create a kind of puffy sleeve detail. Um, and this is really cute and I really like the fact that it goes in at the waistband because A, it's really flattering and B, it would work perfectly as well because of that tucked in. Um, so I want to show you it, first of all, tucked in. 
So we'll do like a jeans and a nice top vibe with it tucked in um, and then we'll add a little cute belt and some nice sandals and a little bag to make it a cute little summer lunch fancy brunch or nice dinner and drinks um, look which you can see here and um, so that's like my first way to style it and I feel like this is a really cute kind of easy to wear top that you can mix with anything if I'm honest but I really like it like this. Then my second look for this top would just be really simple with cream jeans untucked again it would look really nice tucked in with the belt and stuff again um, but I've just gone for a more casual look to show you like different ways so this is untucked cream jeans little basket bag you can get these so cheap I'll link some below this was actually a gift in a, a goodie bag like with stuff came in it um, and then my little Chanel sandals again can't buy them online and they're old season now but I'll link an alternative so the third piece in this little haul is something that i've shown you guys before in cream maybe more wearable but i really liked the lilac and i thought it was a great way to kind of bring pastels into my wardrobe um so i'm going to show you this a couple of ways so let's put this on so the first one i'm going to show you this styled up is literally as i'm wearing it so done up as a kind of jumper off shoulder cozy oversized vibe I think that the pastel purple looks so nice with the cream jeans um, and then I'm just going to add a little bit of a heel because oh, uh, a little bit of a heel because I feel like that will bring the outfit up a notch um, and then again a trusty basket bag I just think they look so cute with simple outfits like this um, and just make it feel all that more summery uh, and then the second way that I'm going to show you it's styled is open which I'm not going to do now because I only have bra on, um, with a little summer dress. I have the cutest little cream polka dot summer dress that I think this will look perfect with, with a pair of either chunky flats or trainers or heel sandals. So many different ways that you could wear it. I'm going to wear my chunky sandals because I just love them and think that they will look perfect. Uh, and this is another really cute, like, cozy look. Then my third thing I want to show you is this cream fluffy cardigan so another cardigan you guys will know that I, i'm loving cardigans at the moment i just feel like they're so versatile because you can wear them backwards as a comfy knit um with the buttons down the back as a detail you can wear them done up as a jumper or open as a cardigan so let me put this one on and show you so this is the little fluffy cardigan on and it's so cozy and soft i think i've seen that i don't know if it's in um h&m or in top shop somewhere else also does a fluffy bralette and I feel like that would be such a cute little combo with like cream jeans and stuff um, and I just like it with these cream jeans but I want to show you it styled kind of differently I just had a cardigan with cream jeans so I want to start a different thing so let me just here and show you and um, so I'm going to start this backwards so it's like a jumper as I said how it can be worn uh, and I'm just going to style it with um, some blue jeans I think like blue jeans cream jumper look is so cute again with sandals um, for like an everyday look and then the second way that I'm going to style it is um, with as a jumper again so like done up with I've got the cutest little skirt from and other stories and I spotted the other day that it's come back into stock and it actually sold out like immediately every time it was restocked last year so I'm really happy that they brought it back into stock because it's one of my favorites and um, so I'll link as I said everything below but I just think that the fluffy cream looks so nice against the satin skirt um, and with some chunky sandals it's just like the cutest look also if you wanted to dress it up you could do your little heeled sandals but I love this look then we're on to the last piece and it is this little cream cardigan so it's ta-da and this is the cutest little ribbed cream knitted top it's got buttons at the um, center but they don't actually do up they are functioning buttons there's like something behind it which I actually like because it means that it's not gonna like gape open um, but this is a really nice style I would style it let me start here so first of all I would style it just with the cream jeans I think it would look so nice with like an all cream look um, really cute for summer uh, you can dress it up or down I just dress it up with heels um, and like black accessories for a kind of monochrome look um, also I would style it again all cream because I think that looks really nice with a camel blazer um, and some nice accessories to make it kind of a smart casual look as well um, but I feel like this top will go with anything like I honestly let me go back here I honestly think it would look really nice like with little skirts like the little green skirt I just showed you 
Also, with the cardigans loaded over the top, a little nice of blue jeans, a little nice of smart trousers too, or under like a suit. Um, I just think it's a million and one. I mean, it's just a really nice, different take on a cami, really. It's just like a cream knitted cami. Um, but yeah, so that's all of my things. I hope that you guys enjoyed my little five pieces haul and my 10 spring outfits. Let me know if you want me to do more things like this. Um, so like kind of turn my hauls into more styling videos. I'd love to hear your opinion and thoughts on that. And as I said before, I'm filming way more regularly now. So if there's anything you want to see from me, just let me know and I will get that filmed for you. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notifications bell so that you don't miss my videos when they go live. I am terrible at keeping to a schedule. Like I definitely will post every other day and I'll definitely post them in the morning. But because it's lockdown, baby. <laughs> lockdown, baby. I'm not... Um, getting up as early as I was. I mean, I'm still making sure that I'm up and ready for like eight, nine o'clock, but before I was getting up at like six, so I was like really on it. Um, so yeah, sometimes they'll always be in the morning, but I can't guarantee like what time. So just make sure you have notifications on. Leave me a comment and let me know what your favorite piece is and what your favorite way to style it is. And if you have any ideas of how you would style these pieces, I would love to hear. And as I said, I will see you tomorrow on the next day. Bye.